Scott Mills. And what are you doing out here today? I'm a long standing member of the Screen Actors Guild. We are out here trying to preserve our right to make a living. So, what exactly? Just give me some background as to what's happening. There's a collective bargaining going on right now with the Alliance of Motion Picture Television and the Screen Actors Guild. It's been going on for over a year now. And it's is at a we have a last best and final offer, which means we had 60 days from the time that was given, which was April, uh, February the 19th, to give them a decision if we accepted it. The problem with the with their proposals is that uh, we would be losing our residuals, which is the lifeblood of the act, and it would have a huge negative impact on our health coverage and our pension coverage. So if that would happen, if we were to accept their proposals, thousands of our members would lose health coverage. When they get to be my age, they wouldn't have a, a uh, pension. Okay. So what exactly are you are you fighting for the way for things to stay the way they are? Or basically, what we're doing, the reason we're here, is to inform the membership as to what the issues are, so that when they do get the balance, they will be able to make an informed vote. This, this guild, the Screen Actors Guild, is made up of membership. It's like this country. You can't expect the congressmen, the legislators, the senators, the president to do everything on their own. The public has to be involved. The, citizen, the citizens of this country have to be involved. It's the same thing with the, with the union. It is up to the membership to make their union strong. We are the union. We are the citizens of this country. It is up to us to, to take control and give advice and input as to what we what we need to make make things happen. For us. When is the vote? Well, there'll be a board meeting this weekend, and they will determine then when the vote will go out. It's it's. Uh, it, it doesn't look good right now. We're the last union standing. Every other union in our industry has made a deal, and a lot of them are, wish they hadn't accepted the deals that they had accepted. If you consider that we are the most visible union in the world, our, our members are known around the world. They may not know our names, but they recognize our faces. Our members stunts entertain the people around the world and make our stars look good like their heroes. Our voices sell the product of the world. Our voices sell the Fortune 500 companies. We sell. We are responsible for selling billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars of product a year. Again, we are the most visible union in the world. If we can't make a living wage, what union can? If we can't make a, a wage that allows our members to be covered with health benefits, what union can? If we can't have a pension, what union can? I mean, again, we are the most visible. I believe that it, it behooves us to stand up to a very prosperous industry. You're talking about an industry that last year made $50 billion in network television, $50 billion in cable television, $20, $25 billion in inter interactive video, and $25 billion in DVDs, and in motion pictures, $9 to $11 billion. That's not an industry that is hurting. That's an industry that is prospering, and everyone knows that content is what drives our industry, and we are the content. We, the people here today, are the content that drives the industry. So, it behooves us to make a deal. It behooves us for, for, for not only ourselves, but for the other, other unions around the world. How do you see this playing out? How do you see everything panning out over the long term? God, I, I wish I had a crystal ball. I wish I could tell you. But I know one thing, that if we don't stand up, acting will become a hobby. You'll be hobbyists. If, if we're unable to secure a living wage here, in one area alone, in network television, from network to move over to streaming, we will be losing, our members will be losing 50 to 66 percent of their income. That's an astounding figure. 
along with the corresponding loss of contributions to the to the health for health coverage and pension benefits, it also means that our agents, our representatives, will be losing 50 to 66 percent of their income. So they'll be going out of business. There will be less agents to represent talent for, and present for consideration to the casting directors. So it's it's. Uh, I wish I had a crystal ball. I'll tell you this, I believe the ANPTP, the Association, the Alliance of Motion Picture Television Producers, are overlooking a few, few issues. One, it's important for them to have a talent pool that can be that can be controlled. And that's what the union does. It controls the talent pool. It's very possible in the future without the union, you would have wildcat strikes on sets that would cost them a lot of money. It would be very disruptive to, to the conveyor belt that this industry is and getting the product out. Also, if you consider that the same studios that make the movies and own the networks that make the shows, that own the cable channels that make the programming, that have and they have deals with with uh, retailers, the way they have barter type deals where they have control in essence of the retailers as well. Because again, it is the product that moves it, and we are the product. We are the the, the uh, what, what was the word I used earlier? <laughs> So how many people do you have out here today? today I don't know, we had maybe at one point about eight. It's disappointing. There should be more people. Last week we had close to 200. Why today there's less, I'm not sure, but it, it is a concern because, again, this is up to the membership to stand up and be counting. The guild is only an extension of us. If we sit back and allow nothing to happen, then nothing will happen. We have to inform the membership, we have to inform the guild that we demand the right to make a living. And there's some very good board members in the Screen Actors Guild. Our president is very good. There's a, there's a whole political... Uh, there's a lot of politics going in, going in the boardroom right now that shouldn't be going on. Some of the branch members and some of the board members in New York are trying to control Hollywood when they've never worked these countries. So it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a volatile situation and not good, good for the for the membership of the school. And how much longer? How many more weeks are you going to be out here picketing? Today is the second day of the 12th week for me. Not here, but in front. there's always a group of us now in front of the Screen Actors Guild every day. Not very few. We have had a rally about once a week, and at the rallies we've had more people. So I think until there's some kind of indication where this may end up, then I will try to stay involved. So is this location here, is there any significance behind this location? Yes, the people we're negotiating with, the Alliance of Motion Picture Television Producers, have their offices here. And the Motion Picture Association of America also has their offices here. So that's why we are in this location. We've also been at Fox, we've been at NBC, CBS, uh, Warner Brothers, the Department of Justice, downtown. So, uh, you know, again, you, you have CEOs saying that, that streaming is, well, they view Hulu as a replacement for network reruns. You have the heads of the studios saying, well, it's time to end residuals. That's our life plan. Take that out. And uh, has anyone from the other side been forthcoming of any willingness to make a deal, maybe? Have you heard anything from the people? Well, recently they offered to change the contract from a, from a, uh, <laughs> From a three-year deal to a two-year deal, but but uh, that's only the terms of the contract. It isn't the terms. The terms are still the same as the terms that have killed us. They're all rollbacks. All rollbacks. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing that you can can take away and say that we made a game. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir, for your time. Thank you.